these lands or, or those native lands that are, are managed as a natural ecosystem. They're large, extensive landscapes that are dominated by native vegetation. Rangelands take many different forms from the coastal marshes of, of Louisiana to the alpine tundra in, in the Rocky Mountains. Any ecosystem that is utilized by grazing animals, whether that be domestic or wild. They're working land. They're working lands that require some type of maintenance to retain their overall structure and function and integrity. And they're working lands by working people. Some of the things that, that landowners and producers are providing can be food, fiber, fuel, furthermore, carbon sequestration, and probably even larger than that is clean air and clean water. Society for Range Management was founded to improve the art and science of, of rangeland management. The original starting of the SRM was by producers because they understood and knew that they had to have science-based information to make good decisions for the habitat that they were managing. Because we have both scientists and producers and everything you can say in between and verify on the ground, is this working, is it not? With our generation and with this time period, um, we have the ability for change and to improve. And I think there's a large group of producers out there that have embraced that. I think the science-based knowledge is, is the critical founding blocks of, of production agriculture. So SRM is a professional organization who, whose main goal is to ensure the proper management of our nation's rangelands through proper scientific-based ecological management. Without science, we, we can't progress. We live off the soil as a whole. We have not done a good job the last couple hundred years of, of maintaining the soil and improving the soil. Not understanding that management has uh, been seen in the Dust Bowl days. And so we have to be able to not only implement the sound science practices, but we have to be able to understand it. And then we have to be able to scale that up to a more meaningful context. We can better the environment. We can better our beef product. We can better human nutrition. Um, through our management, we can affect a lot of lives and affect a lot of land. Technical assistance is, is extremely important because literally it entails taking the science, interpreting it, validating it, and then converting that into a way producers can understand and adopt. It's often easier for individuals to adopt new techniques and new science if they have someone who can come out and walk with them, determine what their problems are develop a plan and implement the plan. I think that's where SRM and, and that GLC fit into this. I don't know if everyone knows it, but the Society for Range Management was a founding member of National Grazing Lands Coalition. It's kind of that link between science and, and, and production. National GLC is yet another one of those organizations out there that has provides a valuable resource and each one of these organizations speaks to the producer in a different way. But I think the really neat thing about the relationship that we have is that a lot of that is producer driven. It is amazing when you get a, a, a bunch of producers in one room and open the floor up for discussion. There is a lot of brainstorming that goes on. As practitioners, we have a responsibility to, to, to help others. And I think this connection that we have strengthens that. My research advisor, when I was going through grad school, said, you can be the best speaker, or you can be the best educator, but if you can't communicate the science in a meaningful way that is easy to understand, then you're not doing your job. And that is our mission, is improve the land, improve education about the land, and improve the way we're managing the land, and improve the benefit that consumers create by eating a beef product that goes back to positive improvement of the land. With good technical assistance, we can get more done because we're collaborating on the problem and using our collective minds and science. And this will really protect and improve America's private grazing land. As people become more and more removed from where and how their food's produced, it's going to be more and more important for us to advocate for agriculture. The 
ecosystem services, the ones that people typically think of, your food, your fiber, your fuel, clean water, carbon sequestration, those are what ecosystem services are comprised of. And it's a product that landowners and land caretakers are providing, and in most cases, completely free to the public. Without good stewardship, those values will be diminished and we may not like the outcome. And that's what we're, we're tasked with. We are tasked with taking care of the working land and being a steward of those landscapes. I believe that with every bone in my body. I want to see that value be realized and somehow transferred back to producers. But it's important that, that we relay that message, that we showcase that this isn't just something that happened because of magic. It's because of ranchers, it's because of producers, it's because of organizations like SRM, GLC, that take pride in what being a steward is. SRM is its members. It's connected me to people across the U.S. and across the globe. It gives you a community to go to and grow your knowledge base of your field. We welcome all, you know, we, we would love to have anyone who has a passion for the, the management of rangelands.